What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to create alert boxes or notification bars into your WordPress website using Elementor WordPress Page Builder plugin for free. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content if a friend of yours have no idea how much it helps us because it brings daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations, and many, many more topics not use international sites favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is to make sure that you have Elementor WordPress plugin installed. It can be the free one, no need to use the pro yet, okay? After this, you can locate the page where you would like to apply your notification bar. For example, imagine that you would, apply, would like to apply a notification bar into the top of your home page just go to the page and into the wordpress toolbar you can see the edit with elementor button click right here okay we're gonna be loading the wordpress editor so what else we can do right here let me apply let me just remove this previously added and review this left sidebar of menus into your screen and into the search box type alert and here is the one this guy right here we can click on it hold your finger into the mouse button drag it and drop into the place where you would like to apply this element it can be wherever you want okay so let's click into this plus button so we can add a new section let me create a section with a single column and now let's add our alert element or alert widget so Here is the widget, you can drag it right here, and here we have our alert box. First of all, what we have right here, review the left side bar, we have four types, we have info, success, warning, and danger, okay? So, let's skip into the info one, we can change the title, the content, and we can dismiss the icon, so we can remove this closing icon right here, by show or hide okay and of course we can change the icon uploading an SVG or adding an icon for our media library what else we can do we can apply some border in the case that you prefer we can change the background color in the case that you want we can change the title color the typography so for example imagine that you would like to make the title bigger it's possible as well. We can change the description size, the description color, and we have the dismiss icon size as well. That you can increase the size, the position, and change the hover options as well. Into the advanced, you can change the position, okay, from left to right, margin, paddings, and if you click into this option right here, the section editor you can do just like this go to style go go back to layout and stretch section to make this alert box take the entire screen instead of only the piece of the screen okay so this is the options that you have for alert boxes this is a page wide option okay a page wide widget so this is gonna work only into the page that you added, so don't forget to click into the update button in order to save your change. It's right here into the bottom of your page, left corner, and you can customize this wherever you want, okay? So we can change this to bold, for example. Here is the options you have, and it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Barless plugin or Enzo WordPress team. Both are free and amazing. In the case that you run a blog and would like to receive guest posts and publish guest posts, go to growth.tws.net and submit your site. It's free. And in the case that you want to go premium, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass to unlock access to our support, premium icons like Barry, premium blocks, templates of pre-built type size that you can import with a single click and many many more pro features and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i see you tomorrow all the best